What is popping, guys? We are back with week nine of the NPL. Um, first things first, I guess. Um, both Trevor and I forgot to save the replay, so I have a post come from his side from his live um, recording. So um, it's probably take a little longer until moves are shown and stuff like that. But that leaves me gives me more time to talk trash about him. Um, we are facing the worst team in the league this week. Um, he's 0-8 right now with a minus 40 differential or something like that. Like he got trash in every game because he's absolute garbage in Pokemon. And we are obviously, like the outcome is obvious. Um, I'm winning this game. Easy. Dominant. As I always do versus him. Um, like he never stands a chance versus me. Um, I don't know, like when I'm recording this, I haven't recorded uh, Team Builder yet. I might might do uh, might do one um, depending on like how I feel <laughs> after I recorded this. Um, but as you can see, I bring Mega Aggron, um, pretty standard set with Avalanche, T-Wave, um, Heavy Slam, and, st no, not Stealth Rocks, oh, what's the last move? Raw, I think, yeah, with Raw. Um, I bring Specs as Selga because it absolutely destroys his team, as you can see, he has no switching for that, everything gets to the KO, and he obviously doesn't prep for it. What was it? It's he always expects me to bring uh, Spikes, but I won't do it this time, because I want to beat him in a way cooler way. Um, I bring um, a Swordless Tangrowth, which he obviously cannot beat with anything on his squad besides the Scissor. I bring Bufalon to God, which I just um, got on my team after week 8. Um, I dropped Lopani for it, basically. Um, nice and choice band at this time. As you can see, no switching again. I can just spam Earthquake or Return. Um, return to Chaos Magneton even, so <laughs> that's pretty cool. So once I get rid of the um, Tyranitar, I'm good to go. Life Orb, Stealth Rock. Three attacks, um, Nidoqueen Queen obviously, and defensive hit him on top just to like spin stuff away he wants to set up on my side if I feel feel that way. Um, so it was pretty easy to prep for him because it's absolute garbage at Mons, but you know even he has some cool Mons on his team like he has Mega Garchomp which is pretty heat, but um, besides that like I already know what he's bringing. So like uh, Zorak Scissor. Easy combination, he will probably will disguise it as Scissor, and if he leads off with um, the Sizz, I know he is like disguising the Zorak as that thing, so pretty pretty easy for me to figure everything out. Um, I didn't like, I didn't um, like demolished him, um, I didn't want to 6 0 him again, it's, it gets pretty boring when you just set up him on someone's face and sweep him from there, so. I brought a more balanced build and decided to like give him a chance to prove himself, but obviously he didn't take this chance to his advantage. Um, I decided to leave off with Big Ben Wallace here, my Bufalon, and this is the most obvious um, Zorak of my life, so we'll just go for the Earthquake. Low kick and low kick can't knock me out if his focus blast so beat, nobody goes for that. Turn one. So I just go for the Earthquake, I clicked this move in like one second, and was good to go because the T pair is so obvious and it just. Two kills, everything on his team besides Mega Garchomp. But Garchomp, depending on the set, he's not Mega yet, it might be like a good chunk to him. So I just will spam EQ unless he like sacks some, something. So that's pretty cool. Like He actually brought special Zorak, so um, he couldn't even knock me out with that one because he didn't, didn't bring the Focus Blast because that's trash versus my squad. Mm. He actually has nothing for Bufalon. I could have, if I wanted, I could have just like um, swept him with this. Thing, but I won't do that because my boy Asago, he didn't come to that many games. He was here to get some kills as well. Um, yeah, as you can see, he takes like a minute to um, make his move because he has to choose for the turn one. Um, that's what Trev always does. Um, gets the lead, lead matchup wrong and then loses from there. So the game is basically over with this lead matchup here, as you will see soon. Yeah, checking my speed here. I'm slower than you. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Now he switches out into T-Tar, as I said. I go for the easy Earthquake turn 1. Do some nice 64% to max defensive T-Tar, as it looks like. Um, and I will just go for the Earthquake again, instead of switching out, because the Garchomp or Scissor switch it is pretty obvious, but... Um, I 2 KO Offensive Scissor, and I have a chance of 2 KO Garchomp, depending on a set. So, that's pretty chill, I guess. Um, sets up the Sand for the nice Sand Force, um, like a Garchomp, but that doesn't matter. So his Rocker is basically dead, um, probably brought some Brazilian Tita shit with T-Wave or something. Um, nobody runs that anymore, it's not 2013, so he should think about something else. 
We actually have to saw real quick. Uh, we actually meant this guard for GG, and that was what I was thinking after this first turn because, as you can see, I read my opponent really well and just destroy him from there. Um, kind of annoying that I always have to beat him that badly, but you gotta teach this kid a lesson, I guess. Um, obviously, I went for Earthquake here like a minute ago, but he has to think again and think again. And whoop, that was a lag. What's that? And like he doesn't know what to do. Obviously, he has to choose Potter here. Um, if he switches the guard jump, I probably two KO or do like fifty percent, and then go to, go for another one um, to like get it low because guard jump is actually a threat versus my team. But as I know, threat he will he will let it um, go down real quickly so that it cannot sweep me or beat me or even get a kill if I don't want it to. So that's pretty pretty cool, I guess. Mm. I see he's all he's already shook like he can he cannot like decide what to sack here, but he goes into his guard shop. Terrible play on his part, he should have just taken this terrible T type set because he won't get up rocks anyway with me. You see Earthquake does some nice fifty percentage and because Draco doesn't kill I can just go for another um, EQ gamble on a roll because um Gatron gets a little bulkier after Mega Evolving and I might be able to knock it out. Um he cannot knock me out with anything unless it he goes for an outrage, which, which would be a pretty dumb play considering I have a steel type in the back that can just revenge split with the avalanche. Um, but he indeed brought special Garcha, fully special, um, absolutely trash set. Like, Draco is cool in Garcha, but besides that, it's, like, you shouldn't run Earth Power or stuff like that. Um, garbage. I go for Earthquake, doesn't get to, don't get the kill, but my Bar Buffalo did some nice work. He's not minus two, and I can just go safely into my Edmonds up because at minus one, even if he's like physically he cannot do it, KO me, and I can. Go from there, fire off a toxic, and beat him, as I always do. So here I decide to go out into my Hitmon top. I'm pretty sure, um, as he is already thinking again. Um, don't know what he's doing, but probably like firing off an Earth Power or something. Doesn't want to miss. Mm. Yeah, look at this. Look at this stats. Like 170 base special attack. It's not that much. Like. How is he supposed to break through and draw with that? Uh, I don't know why he always brings trash set versus me. He tries to like be cool or be fancy, but I always, obviously I prep for everything. Um, I just bring Buffalo and get kills here in the first in the first two turns, even though I don't get kills. Like Terence and Gatsop are basically down. It should be kills for Buffalo, but who the fuck cares? It's a, it's a fucking wall right there. And it does what it's supposed to do. So um, yeah, we're waiting here for. Need to switch out into hit him on top as he decides to go for some trash move again. My boy Mark comes in and he obviously tanks this earth power like nothing. Um, here I can just fire off a toxic because I know he's so dumb and will save his guard jump. So I want to like get the guard of war on the switch, um, which is a pretty obvious switch in my opinion. Like, yes, it's a resist, but come on, don't want to let it get toxic or anything or get it weakened because guard of war is actually pretty good for this in my squad. Um, Nice leftover Skado War, which he doesn't, um, which he will reveal in the next turn. Here I have a very easy switch into my AV Tangro. Um, I cannot even 3 KO me with a Moon Blast or Focus Blast, so um, that's pretty cool. Um, I protect it to get some nice um, toxic damage off and get some lefties back, but that doesn't really matter. I want to scout for a set, and now I can just go safely into my Tangro, um, because. Trevor like is not capable of making doubles predicting what I should bring in. Like his scissor actually put in some work because he U turned around on my squad, but he is he's still shook from these first turns after like Buffalon destroyed him. My buddy Shigor comes in, um my Tangro tanks it like a boss, and I can just go for a knockoff here, knock some items off. Um if he brings in the T Tar so be it. But um that doesn't really matter because like, if he gets the rocks, I just spin them away, I don't care. And besides that, he cannot touch me at all. So, um, he will go in, into his Tita here, I'm pretty, pretty sure. Um, let's see. Yeah, he goes with Tita. I knock off his, um, Chopperberry, which was pretty obvious. So, um, like, of, co of course he brings Chopperberry. Like, I have a hit myself, why wouldn't he? But obviously, I expect that and get rid of this after, like, Parentized down anyway, so I think I go for a grass not here to knock it out, but I'm not sure. Um, might switch it out into something. Um, I might go in. Oh, I think I sacked my buffalo here. I'm expecting to rocks up and 
If he does, I can just get another kill with Booth, but um, if he doesn't, I like just um, like sack my Booth into some weird attack to the Fire Blood, which he goes for, which is pretty dumb. Um, he connects, lucky, lucky for him, but doesn't matter. So he got one kill, he doesn't get six out. If that's not nice, I don't know what is. I think he was pretty much like happy about it. Um, I think it's his best game he ever had versus me because he only got three out. But um, yeah, I think it's it's a success, success for him. And I think it was his best game of the season. He's now 0-9 and his first loss that it hasn't been like an 0-4 or 0-5 or 0-6. I think he lost three games in a row, 0 to 6, without like getting getting any attack off because he just got swept after one turn because he crept so badly. But now I go into my girl Victoria here. He is expecting he's expecting me to um to stealth rock up again, but I'm not dumb. I don't want hazards up on my side, so I will just go for the earth power because it actually um two chaos his entire squad and kills like uh, magneton and. Um, Garchomp and Tita from this from from the range they're at, so um, I can easily go for the Earth Power and get a big hit off because like he cannot switch into me. He doesn't like he has one wall that beats Middle Queen. That's soon soon and he didn't bring it, so I don't know what the fuck he was thinking there. But you know him like you shouldn't sub to him like he's absolutely garbage at the moment. But um, if you want to have a laugh, um, go check it out. But um, I would not recommend it at all. He's just absolute trash at this at this game we call Pokemon. But you know, not everyone can be on my level. I'm obviously the best there is. But um, yeah, you should watch my videos and learn from me. But you know, these kids like they try to figure everything out and by themselves, and it obviously doesn't work out. Like they they should watch people like me or Jamrats who are absolutely dons at this game, obviously. But Nothing you can do about it, I guess. <laughs> so, now it's 5-5. Five, five. I obviously have to game 1 already because he cannot touch anything on my squad with his mons. Like, everything is hard walled by um, Tangrowth now, besides the, uh, besides the scissor, and even that I can knock out with the HP fire and tank a U turn, so that's pretty easy. Mm. Probably will go into his Titania here, very creative nickname. Every fucking nigga in the world names his God of War Titania for some weird reason. I don't watch any. Of his bullshit shows, but yeah, he's one of he's one of these guys. So um, he would go into his God of War. He actually isn't even fast faster than me because he brought some weird slow set, even though I ran speedy Neo Queen all season long. But you know that's like another example of absolute garbage trash or uh, garbage um, prep on his side. But nothing you could do. So come on, Trevor, you yeah, take. Choose fodder and bring something in. So it goes into Gardevoir. And I think he makes one good play here in, like his first good play in 11 turns, which would be um, switching out into the scissor, expecting my Tangro to come in. Um, like, I didn't even try to predict him because he's so bad at this game. But um, he again just goes for the side, he takes some more toxic and sends some damage because he's done. And I get another free knockoff here. <laughs> he has to choose fodder again, um, has to choose. Like, what has to lose this item, and he obviously he he sees that he runs an absolutely garbage item on Scissor, which is Life Orb. You should never run Life Orb Scissor, guys. It's absolutely trash. Um, run Lefties or Choice Bands, and like that's the only option. Maybe a Berry, but that's it. Um, and grab like Mega Scissor over Mega Guard, some but that's up to him. So I get rid of the Life Orb, which is good for him actually because it's such a bad item on Scissor. And now he has obviously has a free U turn, um, which is fine with me. Like. If he wants to do that, you turn out on me and move on with your day. Um, I have some, I have numerous switches here. I could go into my Hitmon top. Um, I considered putting Rocky Helmet on it just for the scissor, but I didn't feel like it. So you can start as I go into my um, Buddy Agron, which ob obviously tanks the hit easily. And like now he wants to go into his Magnet Pull Choice Guard um, Magneton. I don't know why he runs uh, Magnet Pull because it doesn't beat. Um, Aggron 1 versus 1, so that's absolute garbage. Like, go for the analytic vault with the. You already know, like, it's a pattern that you see um, during this game. He has absolutely trash at Monty, perhaps badly, and he plays even worse, so. What are you gonna do? Mm. I'm actually hungover as fuck, so I probably would talk more trash if I would be, like, more sober or just, like. Um. It will like 
I felt better, but um, I still think like I will. I probably have retired him after this game. Um, I should have, to be honest. Like he's on nine, has no chance to make the playoffs. Um, I don't know how he made it to the finals last season, but I think he just won one one game, which was the like uh, the best record in his conference because everyone was trash there. So he might make he might have made the finals with a one to ten record or something, or one to one to eleven. Um, and obviously he got trashed there. Um, it's all on this channel. Like you see him, you see me six hour in the regular season, and you see me beat him in the finals with my boy Mega Ampharos. Um, one of like my only weak t uh, league title that I'm not proud of because um, the competition obviously is trash when Trevor is in the league and in the finals. So um, nothing I can be proud of there. But still an easy win, um, nice eight zero record in the regular season. And now he's thinking again, like for an hour, what to go into. Like obviously nothing can oko me. Like just go into um, Magneton and um, go for the nice voltage to like get some momentum. But obviously he has to think about it like for 20 minutes. Um, it's, just, it's pretty pretty boring. But what are you gonna do about it? Um, Magnet full choice, guys. Man, I haven't seen that bad of a set ever. Like nice HP ground, and you don't see it. Like I have. I made it a little bigger so you only see the battle, but I can see the sets here on my uh, VLC media player. So it's, ah, it's so bad. Like hidden power around, I don't even know what what that hits. Like, do you want to hit my needle queen or my Agron or something? Like, absolute, absolute trash. So now it finally goes into um into Magneton. I think maybe that's um Zorak, and he wasn't even the most obvious Zorak I've. Ever seen so I think I just draw. Um, should he like decide to set up with anything and I can't even uh, switch out? So I want my mega off and that's what I what I'm gonna do. Uh, after this, like after the first five turns, I decide I don't even want to get rocks up versus him because I like I always get my hazards up versus him and I want to give him like like a little feeling of um, having played well. Like he, he should think that he played a very good battle, but obviously he did not. I could I could have easily six out him. But I decided to like be a nice guy. Mm. Like I probably I want him to retire after this battle because like the season is over, his career is over. Um, I just mega evolve here on his vault switch, which does like twenty seven percent, absolutely nothing. Um, goes back into his scissor as I roll him out. Um, get him into Garchomp, and Garchomp cannot kill me, so that's pretty cool. Garchomp is actually his rocker, which is really really bad, but. Yeah, if he wants to, he could get up rocks now, but obviously he doesn't. Like, he wants to hit me with an Earth Power or something, which doesn't even kill. <laughs> That's really, really dumb on his part. Like, get up rocks and at least, like, put my Assault on range for Bullet Punch, but obviously he does not that. Um, I don't know what he does here. Let's see. Like, he contemplates, like, he takes a minute for before making a move. It's pretty annoying. Like, I hate playing him because he, he's, he thinks he runs Kalks and shit, but he doesn't even look at Kalks. He just thinks, oh, this might be able to take it. Um, I actually just go into my um, Tangrowth here because the switch in into something else is so obvious. I just want to double out because he doesn't want to take his guard jump yet for some weird reason, even though it's absolute trash. Um, I'm just waiting for the moment where I can bring in my Acelgo and kill everything on his roster. Um, that will probably happen versus something that's not Scissor because Scissor is obviously the bullet punch, but yeah, that's it. Like, now Scissor is back in and I can just pretty go into my Agron again, my Nidoqueen Queen this time, sorry. And yeah, I can like, stop him from bolt switching out on me. Um, he U-turns, I don't know what he, I think he goes into his um, Guard of War here. As you see, like, I'm skipping through the battle and he takes like two minutes for, um, before making a move. So he goes into Titania, he's a bad Guard of War. And like, I outspeed, I could kill him, but he doesn't care, like he... He just sends it out versus me, um, sacking it to my Nido Queen, um, which he underestimates a lot. But again, he makes a double out into Scissor. It's pretty boring right now. Had I like rocks up, he would have been it would have been over already. But like he doesn't he doesn't get anything by switching out. So um, now you see use it out of Agron, yada yada yada. Um, board switches again. I'm at twenty percent. I don't care. Um, I just go for the Avalanche here to get some. Nice damage of um, nine percent on Scissor, which is kind of annoying. But now I'm like I have enough. Like I want to I want to T wave this thing so I can at least like win with 
whatever I want. I'm just checking my error on here because um, this bolt switching, U-turning bullshit is pretty annoying. Um, yeah, it's very tough to like talk you through this game because he's so bad at mons, but there's nothing you can do. Um, I actually had a poll on Twitter um, asking if I should retire him in my post come or be nice. Um, or if I let him, if I should let him live, but um, I don't want to trash him too much. Like he obviously is just bad. Like life of Bruce, what, what is this set? And now I'm pissed. Like he roosts up for like no reason at all, and now he makes a incredibly, incredibly bad play and just goes for the bullet punch, thinking it kills from this range. Um, when you turn this like twenty, not even twenty percent, and now I get a T wave open. This this battle is over. Yeah, he recognized that I have his nice face cam here on. On my screen, on the like, my media player, um, yeah, he's laughing and he knows. Yeah, I lost. I'm stressed. Like, I'm toast. I'm playing Aki, you know. That's like that's what happens when people play me. They get scared. They get scared. Easy. I just go for the iron head here, trying to flinch him down, but he U turns out. Doesn't even kill me again, um, because like since that's absolutely trash if you don't run it bandit in my opinion. He goes out into his guard shop for some reason, and he still doesn't get up rocks. Like, guard shop doesn't do anything. Like just take it, get get a rocks and let it get killed. But obviously he doesn't do that. Um, he goes for the fire blast and misses. Stunned or die, he said in the chat. But that's not stunting. That's just playing terrible and not getting a rocks even though rocks are good. But yeah, people underestimate the power of hazards. But who am I? Who am I to like to judge them? So Winfield, my boy, is still alive. Took like 25 hits and still, still going strong here. At 2% damage. Nice, nice getting a kill versus Garchomp. And right now he has nothing to um, beat my Selga. Like Spectre Selga, Oko, Zorak, um, Two Tails, Scissor, even with the Buckbus, um, Oko's Gardevoir, and Two Tails, Magneton. So like he cannot touch me at all with anything. Um, bullet Punch plus Sucker Punch would knock me out, but he, he would sack his scissor before um, being able to knock me out. So he finally goes into his Magneton and kills my um, and kills my Aegon. Um, I could have preserved it by just going to Nidoqueen Queen and getting a kill, but obviously I'm a nice guy. Um, he voltages it out into his Gardevoir, um, which obviously isn't a Gardevoir, which is a Zorak, as you can see. <laughs> because God of War was weak weakened and toxic. So I can just go into my Aselga here and play, um, make a big play. So um, I don't know if I go into Aselga or if I just go into my um, Tangrowth, but I think I go into my Aselga and double out because that's pretty cool. Um, he runs Specs Zorak, which I don't understand because um, he runs Specs Sucker Punch first and foremost with a modest nature. So like no um no attack investment or anything. Um I can oh so I go into my hitmon top and double out into something because I'm good at this game. Because the God of War is so obvious. Um he contemplates what to go into again. Um decides to set his scissor here for some reason, which dies to too close combat. But um I go into my Tangroth and now I get a kill because I can just freely XP fire here. He thinks he's good, but I just kill him. So taking a scissor is only answer to my Aselga, and I'm just waiting to finally sweep him. But the game was so annoying. Like I was like cooking something during the battle. I was walking my dog because he took 50 minutes per turn. Um, like as you can see, like man, I could have fucked five bitches in the time I fucked him, but that's another story. So yeah, you see, it takes like three minutes to decide which one to set. Like the game is over. I cannot break my camera off anyway. Um, yeah, so he finally goes into his God of War and goes for Carmine for some reason. Um, I just knock it off, I think. Yeah, as I do. Get rid of the lefties. Um, poison hits him kind of hard. And, oh, oh. and now I can just fire off a poison jab, I think. Um, if I have it. Yeah, I do. And poison takes him out, so I hit him on top, get to kill, actually. He ran a pretty uh, a bulky God of War, which is absolutely trash, like probably max HP, max defense, calm mind. Um, if you run that, run Willow Wisp over some weird coverage move. No, it goes into Zorak, which you see he doesn't have even months left to disguise the Zorak, so he just gave up at this point. Um, I decide to save my, my boy Tangrowth here and sack my 
hit him on top, you see, it, take, it takes him so much time to um, hit that flamethrower. Um, he actually gets a big hit here and two KOs my hit him on top. But now, obviously, I can go into my Aselga and win from there. Um, you see, I like just decide to go into that. And now he makes a really bad play. He thinks um, a resist is a switch in, which is obviously not true. I get some nice 52 damage off, and he like he's shook again. Like he cannot even outspeed me, obviously because I'm timid and outspeed the garbage base 70 more and <laughs> just sweep with the Bugbus here. So, my boy Aselgo finally getting some kills, like, he got some spikes up in one game, and I don't think I brought it to any any other game, but here we are, getting some nice kills, and now, like, look at his face, look at this, he's absolutely shook, he cannot believe that I swept him, he goes for a sucker punch, that obviously does only 50%, and now he's pissed off, look at this, yeah, he, he, sees, he always loses to me, um, yeah, nothing you can do, Trevor. You're a cool guy, but you should retire from this game. Um, let's see, yeah, could, could, he's smiling, but he knows his pressure. I don't even know what he says. Like, I don't want to know it, but, you know, yeah. He, ju he just sits there and tries to accept his fate, but that obviously doesn't work out where, uh, where his need does. I always beat him, he always tries. I, I think I could bring five months or four months and beat him, but. We might try that out in another battle in another league at another time. Yeah, but, yeah. that's Trevor for you. Nice cool guy, but like, he's a Chargers fan, so you know he has to be trashed. Not only in Mons, but at life. Like, he fucks a hot shake, but that's basically it. Um, for some weird reason, I don't know why. But he's a Chargers fan. He's, uh, he's even worse than the Chargers are at football in Pokemon. Like, he loses every game, Chargers lose every game, but. He already gave up on his season after two weeks, obviously after starting 0-2 with a minus 12 differential, but now like his career should be over. Um, I think that's it, I sh should stop like, oh this is a nice moment to stop here, but look at his face. <laughs> yeah, that's it for this week of the NPL, I hope you enjoyed this and definitely go leave a dislike on Trevor's channel, unsub if you are sub to him and never watch any one of his videos again, like his career is over. I retired in this week with a nice 3 or W. You see, like, he cannot, like, live with this anymore. And, yeah, that's it. Um, catch you next week.